Hi, this is Steve from digreshka.com. This video is entitled The Law of Large Numbers, LLN as some may call it. We look forward to help you understand what it has to do with your trading success. The Law of Large Numbers is a theory proven by Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli in 1713, stating that as the number of identically distributed randomly generated variables increases, their sample mean average approaches their theoretical mean. What does it mean for us traders when we repeatedly follow a tested and proven setup that the deviation from expected result will tend to be reduced? Or simply said, the more we follow exactly a tested and proven setup, the more it will reflect the expected result. Let's prove it with a simple coin toss test we made for you showing the results of heads for 10, 100, and 1,000 coin tosses. When we ran the test three times each for each particular number of coin toss, the results were as follows. On the first test, there were five heads out of 10, seven heads out of 10 on the second, and six out of 10 on the third test. In average, 60% of the time heads come up. Doing the same for more samples as you can see in the results table, tends to minimize the statistically and logically expected result to 50-50 or 50%. The 100 coin tosses, for example, has an average of 48% having heads show up, and the three tests with a thousand coins, coin tosses, I mean, have an average of 50%. You guys get what I mean. Small samples are deviation prone from the expected mean. The larger the sample, the more it will jive with the statistically expected outcome, and the more this number is reliable. Here's another example, this time with roulette. For those alien to roulette, roulette is a game where you bet where the ball lands on a wheel with numbers ranging from 0 to 36, 0 being commonly green, and the rest of the numbers randomly arranged in a red-black, red-black sequence. To test how often we will land in black, the expected value here will be around 48.64%, since you will be having 18 black instances out of 37 fields. Don't forget to count zero. Assuming we did the test spins of 10, 100, and 1,000 times again, each type running three times, we got an average of 43% landing on black with the 10 times test spins and we got an average of 50% black from the test spins of 100s and from the three tests that we ran doing 1,000 test spins, we have an average of 48% black. So that's enough of coin tosses and roulette. How about our trading result? You can generate your expected trading result in a different number of ways, either by backtesting or forward testing your strategy, depending on your strategy and knowledge in programming, you can do this either yourself or with the help of a program. Here's everything in a nutshell from this video. Setups. You need proven setups with an expected return and a reliable success ratio. Frequency and consistency in trading is the key to reach your expected return. And number three, that results may vary from the expected mean at the very beginning when a few trades have been executed. It happens and can happen since, as we discussed earlier, small sample sizes are more prone to mean distortions. When you have started out with merely a few trades and those trades happen to be losing, it may seem like a big drawback to your account. It helps when you start trading small so that the drawback risk does not dilute your account directly on the spot should you land your foot on the red side of the program. You may want to see our short discussion on trade management in sizing to help decide what amount of risk per trade to take. And you can also find our slides and discussion on win out, I mean win ratio and payout ratio. And summing things up even simpler. If you do not have a complete attack plan from entering to managing to exiting trades, if you do not have a tested and proven setup to trade, either from your own play money or paper trading, in this case, it doesn't matter where you derive the results from, 
just prove the stability of your setup and if you can't even objectively quantify profits and losses expected from your trade if one of these are missing do not trade just go back fixing your setup and save the money for a rainy day